Go to Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Oh my goodness, these niggas motherfuckers got smoke. Um, I'm saying motherfuckers, I'm saying motherfuckers, they really motherfuckers, but they getting treated like niggas. You got Joseph Biggs and Zachary Rell, two former leaders of the Proud Boys. Uh, you remember Proud Boys, you know, them that group that Trump told them, stand back and stand by. Well, federal judge just handed out sentences on them today, where you had 17 years giving out to Joseph Biggs, 15 giving to Zachary Rell. Smoking. Hey, keep in mind, they're getting it for seditious conspiracy to keep Donald Trump in power by attacking the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. They, the prosecutors actually wanted them to get there. That's how they was on them. So, you know, a lot of people, I mean, 17, 15, I ain't see it coming. But they, you know, this this one of the stiffest, one of, one of, the, one of the calls, uh, one of the worst uh, uh, numbers given yet. Some of the worst numbers given yet for uh, January 6th. But don't get it twisted. It's not the first double digit numbers that, that have been given. It's not, um, it's not uh, the, the, it's not j they're just, there have been other high ones given. There have been a lot of them given. A lot of people caught bad ones off of this January 6th. Shit. They motherfuckers really thought they was just gonna go there and just do whatever and get away with whatever. You know what I mean? And I just remember the climate beforehand. Everybody went from, you know, supporting their right to do it. Now it's like, oh, well, it's a conspiracy. They didn't want to do it. And now they be trying to do both, too. It's like, come on, y'all. It's MAGA. It's looking shady. The rest of y'all Republicans, y'all, man, motherfuckers better jump off that MAGA shit. I'm just saying. But just off of objective, like, observation and analyzation. You know, people need to get on a square. But listen, we, even with that, um, that, that you also have, um, you had, you had the, the lawyer for one of the guys of the bigs actually saying, like, you know, there's a, you know, the president of the United States, you, you know, your president tells you that, you know, your country is being stolen from you. Um, and, you know, people trying to stop your vote. And, you know, they, they just need to be saving or whatever. And, you, and what do you, you react violently? Like, yeah, you might have, you, you know, you might have gone too far, but at the same time, he thinks the, uh, the, they're charging them way too much. He actually used the word overcharge. So, with that, what do you think about that? I mean, the accusation, does that add up to the to the, to the to the years that have actually been given in sentences? 17 years, 15 years? There's two, there's two other people waiting, um, waiting sentencing, uh, two other Proud Boy leaders, and you have the former Proud Boy leader, uh, Enrique Terrio, who actually is uh, set to hear his sentencing next week. Now, that I'm going to be in tune in for because it's understood that Enrique Terrio is an FBI informer. He is a snitch. MAGA, Republicans, that is a snitch. What do y'all think is going to happen when, when, when these things happen? Like, What's the numbers going to be? I'm, I'm curious. I really want to see how this plays out. You know? You really can't trust a motherfucking soul out here. That's why y'all need to think for yourself. Now, to that lawyer, I would have to ask, though. It's like, if my, if my, if the president, let's say a president I revere, tells me to go, um, that the country's being stolen from us, my first reaction is like, how the fuck you letting them steal it from us? What the fuck are you doing that is allowing for somebody to come steal the country from us? That would perplex me. You know what I'm saying? And then he, he also goes on like, and what he's saying, you know, they, they reacted violently to it and all of that. Like, or he was basically saying, well, he was asking like, you know, if the president says this and the third, what are you going to do about it? It's like... The other thing I'm doing is I'm seeing what the other branches of government are doing and how they're reacting to it. I'm watching that because it's, we don't live in a, a the uh, not a theocracy, but um, um, aristocracy. We don't live in a uh, we don't we don't have a king for a reason. 
we have a balance of power to prevent one person from being able to say, oh, issue some fucking decree and have that be the fuck it. And that's that fashion shit that y'all be doing, falsely saying that uh, other people like Biden and Obama are doing, Larry Elder, you know what I'm saying? That's, all, that's, that's another, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get on you later, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really, it's, it's, getting, it's getting hectic. Now, I already know what Mag is going to say. You know, y'all going to say that's unfair those amount of years and, you know, they're targeting and all that. We already know. Y'all on some bullshit. Y'all not really looking at the facts. But if you, for, to those who are not Mag, do you think numbers like 17 years, 15 years, and 30 years are justified? Please comment below. We want graduation. For the guy, you don't miss a rep. I was good where I was, but the rest of the world, she was in love with me, but she was in love with the fucking fellas.